earth on pin 4 Th this one and I wanted to know if it's connected to the housing because um, I'll use a three wire cable with a uh, jacket which is gonna be the earth and it would be nice if you oh well this Okay, I wanted to say uh, I'll connect it to the plug itself, but in this case, this plug does not have this feature to clamp the shielding of the cable. Maybe if I remove this grommet thing. But uh, I'll just use pin 4 then. Hopefully the schematic is correct. Not sure what happens else. At least there won't be a voltage on the housing, because this is the earth pin, so... That's going to be fine. So this one is inside this one, so there's no earth wire exposed somewhere.
I have to decide which color is gonna be what. So I'll write it down because, yeah. I don't know if there's a color coding for these letters. I guess there is. But in this case, I don't know them. So I go with black. Uh, blue and brown so I have to go inside to solder this I make this piece feather so cable clamp will clamp it a little bit better On the other side, I strip the same, but make the leads much lo uh, longer. Like, really long, so it's easy to work with. I always use a knife like this, but in this case I don't have to be like really careful because there's shielding and I won't be cutting through it. But this is the only method to like strip thicker cables nicely, at least that I know of. Probably there's a tool for that, but I've used this method for like two years, 100 times a day, so it works. Not 200 times, but many times. A, like a pointing bit would be nicer to this, uh, to, to unravel this. But I don't have a... I don't have one. Need to uh, make one from a screwdriver that I don't like. Quite good cable, but this wire is quite annoying. Oh, oh this is. I'll take that back. It's not. It's not so annoying. So I have a decibel meter. Uh, we'll put it to um, C weight. And check uh, how loud this water-cooled spindle is. It's not cooled, so I cannot run it for a long time because uh, it might destroy itself. Seventy six. So let's see what the air cool does. I mean, I think it should be quieter, but it took me a gazillion years to get it even to spin normally because there are, of course, this is a set, but there's no, none uh, documentation how it works. There's the VFD has one. Uh, ah, now the battery. See you later. So around 75, 76 versus 80. 
I think that difference should be much bigger. But then again, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'll do this test again when I got a new battery because it's empty and it might be uh, fucking up. So I need a 9 volt, I guess. Yes. So I got a new 9 volt battery. Measure this spindle before I replace it with the other one. That might be a little bit more fair. Because the room is different as well. Different. And the other spindle is sitting on some metal piece and a huge piece of wood. So I don't know, but it's still... I'm not usually impressed by the uh, sound. Might be the spindle drive being shitty from the other spindle. Although this is the cheapest Huyung Wang VFD. People usually um, use these for like a year and then it burns out. But I'm using it for like seven years now. So I don't know. So I plumped the, uh, the water cooled lines in and they are of the fire, uh, f they're the, the cheapest, really stiff, crappy ones. It's 10 meters though, but this is not very flexible, it sucks, it's sucky. The clamp is... I wanted this one because it has the holes already, like the cut, like the mounting holes, and, which is funny because uh, many of those clamps do not have any mounting holes. I don't know why. You have to drill them yourself, and hopefully it's straight, which is ridiculous. <clears throat> this one still makes uh, also quite a lot of noise, up to 110 hertz. It's like pretty silence, and then it silent and that makes uh, quite a lot of noise so I don't know um, so I thought I had a Hyung Wang VFD here as well but it's uh, it's actually a Sinovo it comes with a manual that's nice but uh, yeah uh, there are so many settings and I don't know all of them but I got it to work finally because there's one here, the um, motor curve setting, and it was set to customized, uh, and it will trip. There's a LED, it will trip at 50 hertz, and then it just stops. So now it's set to straight line, but I might use even the one third power low torque VF curve. I don't know. At least that was the only way to get the spin spindle running without, you know, after one second tripping the uh, emergency thingy. Something with acceleration, which, yeah, could explain this setting being incorrect. So, anyone buying this set from Hardware CNC that has nice uh, stuff might run into this and will not figure it out <laughs> I don't know hopefully they know more about this set and the settings of this VFD maybe they can you know make some a manual with all the correct settings for this spindle as well as not supplying me with a water pump that's obviously from an aquarium but I know it will work but it won't work with an English or UK plug. We're uh, in the Netherlands here and this will not work. So I either have to cut it off and put another plug on there or get some sort of thing in between which I do not like. So, so far I'm not really impressed. There's one other thing I'm not impressed about. that's the cabling so there are just some few holes where you can run your cable in but there's no you know I c if I pull hard on this I can maybe dismount some of the cabling inside it's just some random holes no grommets nothing 
no uh, robbery thingies, no cable tie down. This is just shit. The rest of the unit does look quite neat. But uh, yeah, so the cheap one in the shed does have at least a few grommets for in and out. Well, anyhow. I guess that's what you get if you are not paying thousands of euros for a spindle. Tomorrow I'll get the uh, other collet and uh, keep you updated. Maybe when I post this video it is already tomorrow. Who knows? See ya.